Hi guys, my name is John King and I'm in Blackpool just now for the Blackpool Magic Convention. Now the Blackpool Magic Convention doesn't actually kick off for another couple of days. So tonight um, I'm here on my own and I'm basically just going to go for a few beers. I'm standing outside the Ruskin Hotel, just had a little glimpse in and I don't really recognise anybody and it looks quite dead. So instead I'm just going to go and have a, a wander around Blackpool anyway and see what I see. I'm here with myself, Scottish Matthew, my man Jason. And Michael Jackson. Jason here is pissed. He's had three pints. He's a fucking lightweight. Yeah, a fucking lightweight jabroni. Okay, this is Mario's. It used to be funny boys, which is just I've just fell on Mars. <laughs> Fuck, camera cut off there. Okay, this is Mario's. It used to be called Funny Boys. They probably changed the name because at one point there was a fucking human, dead human, fed through the fucking mincer in this place. I'm gonna have a kebab. It hopefully it doesn't have human through it. This is me outside the Ruskin. It's uh, no cunts awake. It's still there o'clock in the morning. I need to go up to bed. Hi guys. I went out last night, I had a few beers and uh, you know, ended up quite rushed. And I'm going to go for a little walk to, you know, pass some time and see what's happening in Blackpool. Four large dummies for a pound. Alright, okay. nice. I bumped into Colin, it's Colin, eh? Hi. Colin and Tim Stracy. Hi, yeah. And we are heading towards the Winter Gardens to pick up the tickets for the convention tomorrow. Let's just leave him. We've just been to see a, a magic auction. We're just leaving. Just what, what did you get at the auction, Tim? I got a, a program for this year. It was only 50 quid. Yeah. Uh, they, they were just selling nothing but tat at that auction anyway. It's pretty crap. Selling a load of old Tom Crosby shite. <laughs> He's bringing out. Wonderful. <laughs> I used to have money before I'd become a magician. It's true. What, what is it you're intending to buy tomorrow at the, at the dealers? Pretty much the first thing I see, probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the most hot <laughs> tub. Before it gets dimmed, I'm buying it. Tub. Tub. 150 quid? Bargain. Yeah. <laughs> what pen? is it? Thumbs it. Seafood pen? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're back in the Ruskin. I've bumped in. It. John Horton, who runs Magic Offers and Group Buys on Facebook. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Yeah, are you sure? Will you stop there? You trust me? Don't take the one we can see. Obviously, take the next one. Got it? Alright, then. See these pearl pens that you use all the time? See, so just grab that for me. Grab the other side. There's no way that's going to come off, is it? What you do is just hold the end of the pen for me and concentrate on your card. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to warm that ink. I'm going to keep the S. Okay? And we'll change the rest. Seven of hearts. It's the first time we've been in the Ruskin and there's no people shuffling cards anywhere. Okay. <laughs> 
drunk. And everybody, instead of getting drunk, is fanning about with their phones. So, yeah, yeah, conversation's shit here. Just gonna, um, yeah, go we pop. finished slagging off yeah, TV yeah, magicians, yeah. so... Oh, Tim, I can't believe you said that! Oh, oh let me see what I just said to you! John, I know you're there, but, good, I know, I know you're there, but I'm gonna message you on this, is that okay? I'm surrounded by about a few hundred people that think they're Harry Potter. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I've just bumped into it. Me on the magician. What's been happening? What have you been up to? Uh, not much. Just hanging with tons of magicians today. Who have you met so far? Uh, I met Elliot. He's not a magician. Yeah, he is. Elliot Bibby's a magician. He's not. Okay. He's a brony. Well, we've met Tom as well. Tom who? I can't remember his last name. Very good at sleight of hand, like, harming things and bits. Switches. Like to be anybody. Yeah, Tom Cosby. All right, yeah. That's him. Yeah. He's not a magician Cosby. either. Yeah, he is. He's a brony. <laughs> I met Liam, he's a magician. Liam who? I don't know his last name. He did. Christ, he did. <laughs> Most of them only tell me their first name. I, I, met, I met one from uh, Africa as well, South Africa. So. And I bet you don't know his name. Rich. And his surname? I don't know his surname. <laughs> so I got this fork, as you can see it's uh, bent, which, which isn't good, but if I pull like this, look what I can do. I can get it straight back like this. It's gone. That was shit. That was shit. That was truly shit. Hey, I'm Sean McCarthy. I'm Guy. Uh, this is Stan at Monty. Okay, so have you ever heard of a game with three cards? Yes, I have. So the idea is to follow the king. Where do you think the king is? There. Right in the middle. In the middle. So now, in the middle. You, you might place a bet because it's really easy. Yes. But the thing with this game is you can never win. I'm going to show you why. Can you just hold it in your hand nice and flat? And you see, look, the king goes right there, and you see you're already following the wrong card. What? Look, we'll do this game, keep your hand up. Okay. This time we'll put the eight right there, so all I have to do is distract yeah. you so you're not watching the king. Then I do the move if you don't know where to look. Okay. But that's when I've swapped it. <laughs> okay, but we'll do this again. It's a bit hard to follow because I got three cards and you've got two eyes. So okay. what we'll do is we'll just get rid of the king in my pocket, okay? Okay. So now we have the two eights, and the thing with these two eights is they're already distracting you. Where's the king? It's in your pocket. So not here, especially what you're saying. Yeah. The eight is actually always important. We'll do this again, but we'll do it really slowly. You can see what's happening. This is the move. They never tell you they're doing the move, but this is the move. Watch here. The king goes right there, and even if you think it's your sure bet, don't take it because I'm cheating. <laughs> and the king was always in my pocket. So the thing is, when you win, it's because I want you to win. And when you lose, it's because I want you to lose. But I'm always in control of the cards, and you can never win in a game with three cards. Okay. So on you as, as you can see, there's ice in the card. Yes. Right. Watch. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what is this witchcraft? <laughs> My name is Garrett Thomas. We're here at Blackpool. I'll show you a quick thing with a finger ring. From one finger to the next without going over the top. We're going to go from one finger to the next without going over the top. I think the magic So you've already been to doctors and all that crap. You see it, you catch it. My name is Christopher Jones. Hello everyone, nice to be here. Very nice to meet you. Uh, saw your travel blog in 2012, so it's a lot of fun being here today. We are from Norway, so uh, it's been a bit of a travel, but uh, it's absolutely worth it. Oh, is he recording? The sly fox! Oh, hey, are you? Should I see you? What does the fox say? Moving on. My name is Matt Paro. My name is Maximilian. I look bald from this angle. There we go, I do have hair. I don't. <laughs> this is fake. Who uh, gives a fake? I'm just I don't take shit. Where are you? You don't call. Cool. You don't call. Cool. You don't love me anymore. Yeah, you don't love me anymore. Fuck you. 
50p check to tell you, really. You can see that, it's gravity. It's got a reverse gravity. Oh, my name's Lewis. Zola. Shit up. No, I'm not having that. I'm not having that shit. I'm not having it. I'm not having that shit. I'm not having it. 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 This is a genuine No, reaction. I'm not having it. This is what you get when you really read a main. Fuck off. No, I'm not having it. I'm well, not having can, it. Can you just go to the camera what happened? No, I don't want to because I don't like it. Because I don't Just do it. Fucking hell. He said, it's really annoying. He said, think, think it's someone from your childhood. And he says, is it a girl? I said, no, it's a, it's a boy. He said, oh, a male. I said, no, it's not. And then he said, I'll think of the name. Think of the name. I said, this is athletic. Athletic. And I went, yeah, okay. And he says, got a darker hair than you. I went, yeah. And then he says, who's Richard? And I'm going, yeah. My friend was called Richard, and I'm not having it. Uh, and to be fair, he didn't say any other fishing, he just said Richard, there's no other fishing. And we've not mentioned him at all. I'm not even saying who he is now. But it's really, really fucking annoying from a magician's point of view. But still, I have to say, it's really fucking annoying. There's no such thing as guesses, John. I've just arrived back at the hotel. It's uh, just past three o'clock in the morning. And I'm going to go to sleep just now because to, tomorrow I've got the convention, so I need to really be, in a, be kind of fresh for that. So it uh, should all be well, all well and good. So good night, and uh, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye for now. Morning. Uh, the convention's just about to start, so I'm just actually going to head to the convention in a few minutes and check out the dealers' hall, which will be the first thing really that I want to go and see. But, Into the gruesome twosome. Morning. Uh, who are slightly less fresh than me. <laughs> have anything to say? It's bright light, that's bright. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go and have a wee walk around the dealers uh, just now, see what I can see. We're starting off in the, the small room and just having a sort of browse around the, the dealer stalls. It is absolutely roasting in here, so I can't see me staying here for very long. Some days I have to heat it on, it is roasting. Just bumped into Mr. Roy Bond, who's dressed like a liquor of sort today. It's to confuse you. Stripes on the camera, it's a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just bumped into him, mister. Dave, oh hello. You forgot your own name. No, I did forget my own name. <laughs> I, it's been a rough night. So, so we're just standing here having a, a, a pint or two. And uh, you know, that, that's pretty much the story of my life. It was a cigar endurance test. You thought it was David Blaine. Yeah. So it took a big puff on it and just went, Pfft. well it's not hurting. <laughs> well, <it's all> ah! <laughs> <laughs> this is him slagging off this sort of rash that I have on my arm, which is yeah, quite a designer. You know, it's a designer rash, you know. It should look like something. It's like the Virgin Mary crying. Or two two things in different perspective, one further away than the other. Wait a minute. Is that the eight of, eight of hearts? That was my card. That's ridiculous. Eight of hearts. 
in a rash on his body. He is the Messiah. <laughs> okay, I've just, I, I just bumped into you, Mr. Magnificent himself, Brian Owens. How are you managing that? Is that me? No, sure, that's yeah. all. Yeah. It is indeed. Okay, right. One card in here, okay? One playing card. This is a trick where you make all the rules. Right. All right? Uh, as I say, I want you to use your imagination. I'm going to take an imaginary match out. I'm going to strike the match. Do you want me to burn the picture cards? The small cards? What do you want to burn? Picture. Maybe quicker next time. I'm going to burn my fingers. <laughs> picture cards, okay? I'm going to take my second imaginary match out. I'm going to strike it. Do you want me to burn the man or the woman? The man. You're sick. One match left. Okay. There's four queens left. I'm going to burn three of them. One has to survive. Do you want the Queen of Hearts, the Queen of Clubs, the Queen of Spades, or the Queen of Diamonds to survive? Which one? Queen of Diamonds. That's spooky. That's really spooky. Because inside here, I've still got the card with the paper top on The Queen of Diamonds? You will see in here. Card to survive. It's a queen of diamonds. I think it's a queen of diamonds. Is it? Yeah. must be a double act. It's a double act. What do you think about that? Absolutely fantastic. Which we'll mix together. There you go there. They're mixed. Again, I mean, you can see these cards are mixed. I mean, we'll mix them up and they're totally mixed there. Eh? Would you agree? I hope so. Yep. I didn't hear a yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, and we'll mix uh, these. We'll mix these together. And you can see, I mean, they are, they are mixed. Eh? We should, would you agree? Very much. They are mixed, there's no doubt about it. I'm going to make a wee prediction here. I'm going to put it in there. My the prediction is going to come in the middle pile here. I'm going to go for this. I'm going to predict that the middle pile has got 10 red cards and 10 black cards. After all that shuffling, I'm just going to have a wee look. Oh, look at that. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 red cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten black cards. Now a lot of people say, hey, magic boy, that's luck. But if it was luck, then how, after all that shuffling, how did I manage to separate all these black cards from all these red cards? Eh? I mean, it's a mystery. Very good, very, very good. Well, is this what you prefer doing, card tricks, than anything else? Basically, aye. How many card tricks can you do? I mean, what is... Hundreds. Even sort of like Great. sitting here knowing <laughs> what you're doing and the closer you look, you still can't fathom no, it out. Not. There's a way I can position these cards that'll make you think of one of their cards. Believe it or not, there is. So uh, I want you to think of any card you want. Have you got it? Yeah. Just think it, he didn't need to tell you. No, did he tell me just yet? But just burn that into your... Brain. Your brain. Okay. So I'm going to leave your six cards back there. Two, three, four, five and six. When you say go, I'm going to make the card you're thinking of go from there to there. When you say go, you ready? Okay. Say go. Go. Done. How fast was that? <laughs> that was fast, eh? I'm even impressed <laughs> myself. <laughs> now, there should only be five cards left if what I said is true. Eh? So you can see there's one, two, three, four, and five cards. So which means there must be seven cards here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. Now it was fast, I must have done Now, so what was the name of your card? Ace of Clubs. There you go, the Ace of Clubs. Voila. <laughs> Fascinating. Uh, good. I'd much rather watch someone do sleight of hand, card tricks like that, than all the crap that's on the TV at the moment. 
likes of Dynamo. Can we watch Dynamo? Gamma But it's just so edited, isn't it? it it's all TV. They don't say how much it's edited. Uh, uh, Hello again. We're in the Ruskin just now. And uh, I'll do some old friends. Brilliant day. Walking about, meeting people, buying shit, sitting in pubs. What did you buy? What did I buy? I bought flash paper. I bought envelopes, bonzo envelopes, and a nice wee legal seal for them as well. I've not bought anything at all. Wow. With the exception of drink. But that's kind of goes without saying, you know. Uh, um, I've not seen a single lecture. I've not been at a single show. I don't even like magic, I'm just here to get drunk, so that's pretty much it. Baby, what's been happening? Went to the Mel Mellows lecture, that was pretty good. Then went to the Gala show. Were there any of at the Gala show? Good. Uh, no, the first half was wasn't the greatest. And the uh, second half was good. Hello, Brian. Hi, Hi Neon. Man. It's nice Hello. to meet you. Neon? Yeah, Neon the Magician. Excellent name. Thank you. Nearly as hot as mine. My <laughs> second name's Ovens. Really? Can I get it hot like that? <laughs> Never heard it. <laughs> <laughs> now, please appreciate that I am hard. I am hard. How many pints of beer? One. 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 <laughs> Eleven. Eleven. What's your name, sir? <laughs> Boom! Okay, I've just bumped into this jabroni from the Wizard Product Review. Can you, can you, can you introduce yourself to <laughs> Yeah, this is Craig from the Wizard Product Review and King John is the most amazing person ever. And can you introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Tom, and King John is a legend. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I was stood next to him in the toilet, and oh! In the toilet? <laughs> King John! <laughs> it's reason they call him King. Definitely. <laughs> I bought Mark Mason coin set. So did I? It cost me a fucking fortune, but it's also... I also bought Parlour by Craig Petty. It's really good. Really good. Who's Craig Petty? I'm fucking clue, but it's a really stolen? good DVD. It's like four in the morning or something like that, and I've been blowing away with Craig Petty and Steve Brooks, who's going to say hello for a split second. Hi Steve, what's been happening? Hello, it's one second. Okay, that, that's, a, that's as good as we're getting. Okay, right, bye for now Steve. So can you tell us about the gala show and how much you enjoyed it? Um, the gala show, everyone made a tremendous effort. I was constantly <laughs> laughing. It was an amazing show. Good morning, and it's uh, Saturday the 22nd of February and I'm just about to head to the convention. I might actually go and watch a lecture or something, maybe, possibly. And breaking news, Blackpool is actually seeing some sun. I don't think it's ever seen sun before in its entire history, but we have some sun today. So, and it's actually rather warm, holy shit. Probably not for very long. So, in any case, I'm on my way to the Winter Gardens. Into Mr. Benjamin Prime. Hello. Uh, what do you have to say? Nothing. <laughs> as, as always, as yep. always. Okay, bye for now, Ben. Ben is kind of camera shy, as always. Okay, that's me bored with the dealer's hall. I'm going to head upstairs and uh, catch the Wayne Dobson and Friends thing, which is about to start in about 20 minutes. I'm going to head up just now to see if I can get a seat. Bumped into Scotland's other magician. Other magician. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Scott Cutperson. Hello, how are you? Welcome to Blackpool. It's a beautiful convention. It happens every year. And you meet some guys like this who... Yeah, we make films so basically that can be seen by other people. That's pretty much it. I, I, I'm a celebrity status. I've, I've been asked for my... You've been recognised, haven't been you? been recognised. See? See? So, uh, we're, we're at the, um, so the pavilion. And we're, we're just waiting on the Wayne Dobson thing to start. Which is due to start right about now. So... We'll come back to you with review afterwards. So it's it's a, a promised review. Here we I are. promise you. I enjoyed it. What do you think? I, I thought it was quite good. Uh, there was a distinct lack of David Penn jokes. Or... There was. But you know what? Obviously, the matures have to have moved on now. How disappointing. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> That's but, Mr. Bibster. 
What are you looking for? Nothing lost. I know. I just saw Wayne Dobson and friends like shit. What was your thoughts? I thought it was great. I really like Wayne Dobson. Really oh, it's all oh, different. Dave, oh, no, 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 no. really well. Oh, no, 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 I think you choose the one that we're going to do the trick on. Let's you do this one place. This one? Alright, yes. well we don't need this for time being, so can you mind that for me? I think close your hand in a tight fist. I got it. Perfect. Right. If anyone goes near you, you have the right to smack them in the face. Perfect. Someone come close. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to do something with nothing. Now, okay. it looks like something's a little washer with a hole, but that's exactly it. We're going to use the hole. Because okay. that kind of is nothing. So you're going to come over and move that hole about half an inch, or just take it off. And just throw it through. So I have none. You know what that means? No. It means I can't see through the point. It also means that if you open your hand, you must have two. Oh. <laughs> like that. I just thought it was a great experience getting to meet the guy that has kind of inspired me to do a lot of my work. That's it. That's a big game. What? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything. Shut up. <laughs> What's your name? Sad. Leon Anderson. Yep. All right, so we have the Jack of Diamonds. We have the Jack of Hearts, but watch. Ooh. It blew my friggin' mind. Hello, I'm just heading towards Scruffy Murphy's. I've been probably spent the last three hours uh, jamming and <laughs> arguing with Jay Sankey, which has been good fun. Uh, in any case, I'm heading uh, now towards Scruffy Murphy's where uh, Brian uh, Buffs is that? Uh, Jay's way back to his hotel, and uh, we're going for a King Kong burger tomorrow, which is, uh, for those of you who don't know, is a massive burger that they do at the West Coast uh, Rock Cafe, which is across from the Winter Gardens. So we're going there tomorrow. So that will be all good, and uh, time for a pint. It's Mr. Evans. The magnificent one. <laughs> this is a trick I learned from my grandpappy. That's not true. <laughs> well, that's as true as I'm going to be about it. The Ace of Clubs, Two of Clubs, Three of Clubs, and the Four of Clubs. He says to me, son, I'm going to put the cards behind my back and I'm going to leave one card face up. All you have to do is guess what card is face up and you want a Mars bar. I says, well, I'm going to go for the the four of clubs. He goes, no, the card that I left face up is actually the ace of clubs. He says, but I wasn't very fair to you. I put the cards behind my back. So I'll give you another go. What card did I leave face up? I said, I've seen the ace of clubs. He goes, son, you're wrong. It's actually the two of clubs that I left face up. But I'm going to give you another go because you're my grandson, my favourite grandson. But this time, if you get it wrong, you have to go and cut the grass. He says, what card did I leave face up? I said, you left the two of clubs. He went, son, I left the three of clubs face up. You missed it again, go and cut the grass. So I went and cut the grass, and I come back. He says, right, you want to go double quits because you're still to win your Mars bar. I said, is that all right? He says, but I'm going to make it easy for you this time, son. I'm going to leave this card face up. Now, come on, what card's face up? I says, well, it's obviously the... Four of clubs. He says, I, the four of clubs, the three of clubs, the two of clubs, and the ace of clubs. He says, you'll have to go and wash the dishes now. So I come back to washing the dishes, a hungry man. I'm still looking for my first Mars bar. But when I come back, I noticed the cars were still on the table. And it was at this point I realised my grandfather had been cheating me. Because the cars were marked. No, on this side. But on this side here, you can see that card was marked, that card was marked, and that card was marked. All four cards. And that's that, folks. We're just really going to have the one pint, and then we're going to head up to the gala show, because uh, i never, I never seen it last night. What you have to do, you have to balance all the nails on the head of the nail. Okay? Okay, so we've got a block of wood with a nail in it. Yep. And how many nails? Eight. Eight nails. That would have stumped me, and it did stump me. John just failed miserably. Uh, you wouldn't have got it either. So here's, here's the solution. Right, here we go. What you need to do 
lay one nail down, lay the other nails opposite each other, so the heads are there, the top nail locks all the other nails in. Pick you over the corners. And that is the nail trick from Scruffy Mates. Brian has just been telling me that he's been recognised from the previous Conjurers Convention movies. I'm so happy about it. <laughs> Does, he, he values his anonymity. <laughs> well, what's left in? Oh, welcome again. Um, <laughs> I'm just heading back to the Winter Gardens and uh, we're just basically going to go and see the, the sort of last kind of two thirds of the gala show. At least that's the plan. So uh, let's go and see it. Bye for now.
I am heading in the general direction of the Ruskin. Uh, we're going to have a bit of a carry on there and uh, see who we see. Here we go, it's Benji Taylor making an appearance in the Conjurers Convention 3. What's been happening? How are you, John? I'm, I'm absolutely awesome. What's been happening? You, you've got taller. I think I have got taller. Yeah. You have got taller. You're not levitating this year. <laughs> Are you sure to the camera? Oh, sorry, my mate. That's it. Okay. At the end of this routine, he can't go this trick. Yeah, it makes him up. Yes. Have you with that? I do this trick with every different card. So again, name a number. Ten. Ten. Have you with that? Yeah, if I count them out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, we different one. Good. Uh, we'll try and take it up. Uh, you're right. Uh, take it up. Uh, take it up. 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 You did that magic well. Yeah. I wanted to beat the wand. It was really good. It was good fun. Um, and then we're in the bus again. What else do you want? I tried to get into the beat the wand. Did they manage to get in? So me and Brian went a pub crawl. That's not a bad thing really, John, to be fair. Name's Luke. Nice to meet you, Luke. What's your surname? Closely. That's me. Hey. <laughs> It's uh, 3.37, so a bit later than I thought. Uh, and so in any case, head back to the flat, uh, heading to sleep, and up early tomorrow for the final day of the convention. It's been good so far. Good morning. It's the final day of the convention and I'm just going to head back down to the Winter Gardens just now. I'm feeling pretty good and uh, just going to see what's on from there. Okay, I've just bumped into Mr. Royston Bond. <laughs> and Neon, the magician, who's in the background. And um, we're going down for the Laser Maze Challenge. I'm going to win, I'll say that up front, because I've always won everything, except I'm playing up against Ben Prime, who's a cheating little prick. Um, so. And I, I'm going to let him win, because it's the thing that a friend does for another friend. He's, you know, I'm going, to, I'm going to look bad on purpose. I'm going to beat them both. I'm smaller and I'm more flexible. Yeah. And I'm a magician, I'll just disappear to the other side of the room. He's a, like he's, he's a jabroni, don't worry about him. He's, he's, he's got no chance. <laughs> Okay, going first in this year's Laser Maze Challenge, we have Roy Bond. How do you feel, Roy? Very calm. Thanks for the walk, John. It's fantastic, yeah.
Is it f five? Five lasers, bro. Well, that's, Nathaniel got humped by like 13, 13 seconds or something like that. Yes. The winner, the glorious King John. <laughs> Woo! Never mind, maybe it better luck next year. <laughs> Nathaniel says he wants to go home. Is this because you got pumped at the laser maze? No, I uh, I want to stay, but as, as well I want to go home because I miss quite a lot of my friends from home, and uh, I've not really been Tragic. this far up the country before. Yes, yesterday we had a magician on the stage in the gala show perform a brilliant, stupid, and funny act with the birds. So we were just saying we should collect up all these birds and give them to him and see what he can do with these. It would make the show even more funny because there's then going to be wild birds running around the stage. Do you think it was deliberately funny? Yes. So we're filming it nice. The King Kong? There it is, baby. I'm not even going to get fries with it. I'm just going to eat it. Okay, Jay. Yes. You're going to have to endure the King Kong burger very soon. I got no problem with the King Kong burger. I ain't met no burger. I usually, when I, when I see a burger, usually the burger starts to sweat and it knows. It's going in the hole in my head and coming out the other side. Uh, I've got a funny feeling you're not finishing this one. No. It may finish you. It may well finish me. Maybe what I'll do is I'll fake it. I'll eat half of it here and palm the rest and then make it look like it's all coming out my butt at the end of the day. Why don't we do it the way real magicians do it? Stop the camera and then exchange. <laughs> oh, no, no. I don't think I need to get dynamo on its ass. No, no, no. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. I'm going to put some ketchup on it. But I like mine plain, as I mentioned to you. I don't want to, not into the lettuce, not into tomatoes. I just want the meat. Just give me the dead animal and some, some functioning orifice. Okay, I'll let you off. Well, it's time we get tucked in. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to this. I don't know what the, the, uh, the, the money shot. Ah, uh, yellow porn. If only women understood porn better, they wouldn't be so threatened by it. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. What's your initial impression? My initial impression... I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it all, number one. Number two, I've been working on this, and by working on this, I mean I just came up with it now, which means you'll see it on a DVD in about a week. And that is, I call it... Appearing ketchup, and I mean on both sides. And if they want to examine it, I just say, "Fuck you," and I eat the prop. Here we go. Here we go. At first, I'm gonna scare it. I'm gonna show it the size of my mouth. All sides. I can feel it trembling. No, no, no. Oh, it's peeing a bit. The burger's peeing a little bit because it's scared of Papa's mouth. But here we go. Please, Lord, help me Drum roll. Down. Drum roll. Send down a savior, Lord, to defeat me or to beat the burger. Here we go. Oh, oh. That's the burger screaming, not me. Mmm. Oh. King Kong burger is awesome as usual. Okay, as predicted, G has failed miserably. I have failed crazy miserably. I really apologize, um, particularly to the cow, and even more importantly to the cow's parents. And I'm not sure if this bit of meat and this bit of meat came from the same cow, so I may in fact have a few parents to apologize because if you're gonna slaughter the child, the least a human can do is consume the calories. So, je m'excuse, sorry about that. I did slightly better, but oh, I, I, still, better. I, I still haven't uh, ate all the chips. Uh, I think the reason for that is I had my breakfast, you know. I still, I'm still, still going though, but uh, other than that, that kind of brings the King Kong Burger Challenge to the end. Okay, I've just said goodbye to Jay Sankey. Um, he's just waiting to get a shower just now because he's, he's uh, on doing, I think he's uh, doing a lecture or something like that shortly. And I'm heading back to the Winter Gardens. Oh, Hi guys, it's Paul Gordon in Blackpool 2014. Here we are again, it's the 30th year I've been here, I think. Watch this, this is the ultimate sting. Um, I've got a whole stack of ace of spades here, which I use for um, practicing magic, the magic itself, and also for cheating at cards. Watch this, I've got a whole stack of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can see that, now watch closely. I'm gonna mix them face up and face down for practice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, face up, face down. Now here comes the magic. I'll split them into two groups, like this, 
here we have face up, face down, face up and face down, and the same here. But if I snap my fingers, all these one by one will eventually become face up. Just like that, if they're all face up, instantly these become face down. That's the magical part. But I said earlier about uh, ways of making money or cheating at cards. Well, if you play poker, you know you cannot beat a royal flush in spades, and there it is. And if you play cards, you need a lot of money to pay off all your debts, which you can do with credit. Take big this one, okay. and I want you to check but your level of energy. Look at this. <laughs> Let's go. You feel? Okay, on you go. <laughs> hey, when? On you go, what's your name, sir? I'm Miles. Nice to meet you, Miles. My name Maker's Magic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How you doing? Not bad, mate. Not bad. Uh, uh, so, uh, you, you were saying uh, you've not, not spent much money? I can't afford it. We've got to get my hair done next week. Uh, I, I, know, I know what it's like. I'm having a perm. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, my wife, she only gives me £20 normally when I come away. Uh, and that gets me two beers and about five kebabs. You always have to have a better kebab ratio to beer. I mean, I can eat a kebab every day. I'm not joking, I can have an extra large kebab for dinner every day, big fry up, and still keep this figure. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> My name's Colin Green. My, my business partner is Paul Goodman. And we're Goodman Green Magic. Right, so we're going to do a trick called the box created by Mark Sesler. If you just take a card in a card, if you just. Could you just put your signature on that card as well, please? Yep. You showed the camera. If you want to just put your right hand just on here. Put it lift it up. That's your card? Yeah. Yeah, just lift it up slowly, yeah? All the way to the edge, keep it there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh... Can you feel the card? Yeah. You can feel it, yeah? Yeah. All I want you to do is just lift, lift, feel a bit of the card, and your card is going to disappear okay. in two seconds. Okay. Have a lift up. Check it. Yeah. Lift up. No way. Lift up, your card's disappeared. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. But look, <laughs> we've got a box here. Yeah? yeah. But this box has been on the table the whole time. Yeah. 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 Wow. Wow. Liam, every time I come round the store, you're always eating. That's because we've been here once, and I'm eating. Yeah. Yeah. What are you eating? It looks good. Yeah, it is pretty awesome. I'm not sure what it is. Okay. So this is a trick with some jokers. Uh, I always keep the jokers out of my decks of cards, and also the queen of hearts. This is the one to keep your eye on. In fact, it's easy to keep your eye on because it's got a different colour back. This means that you'll be able to keep your eye on it all the time. What we're going to do, the idea of the trick is I take the queen, put it into my pocket, and I'm going to try and sneak it back into the packet, not once, but twice, without you seeing it. Uh, did you see the first time? Did you see it go? Nope. Nope? Awesome. Oh, that means I must be as awesome as I thought. I'll try it again. This time the uh, queen goes into my pocket. Uh, this time though it's much, much harder because uh, you're keeping an eye out and I've told you what's going to happen in advance. So I need some sort of distraction or misdirection to take your attention away from the packet. Did that work? Did you look at the card? Yes. If you looked at the card, then that means I was able to sneak the queen back for the second time. That's how the trick works. However, I must be honest, I did actually cheat. Uh, not once, but twice. I cheated the first time when I changed the queen into the ace of spades, and this will be twice with the other aces. They're all regular, you can check them all out. That's Chop Chop. Thank you very much. Awesome. Uh, Stephen Tucker. Chop Chop. <laughs> okay. Well, the idea is you take the ball, put it in your pocket, and do the other side of the cup. Let me use his hand. This way, his hand's going to be famous. Just take the little, little Libby knock, right? Place it on his hand. It can come alive. Look at that. You don't know if it's a boy. You don't know if it's a girl. You just know it's living. There you go. Oh, I think you can put it down right there, and it'll just spin around. You can put it a glass over and try to capture it. You can look at it's his favorite buddy, which is the the living skeleton. Everything. Booma, San Francisco. Nice to meet you, Booma. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Uh, I'm Jack. Uh, I will show you a tight squeeze. Okay. What we've got here is uh, two brass caps and a brass block, which goes in between the two, like this. Oh, okay. 
you know, that's pretty sealed. And uh, we've got these four coins, okay? What we're gonna do with these four coins, we're gonna slot them inside uh, the, the little collection of brass items we have. Uh, tip them back out, and we're gonna slot them in the top part, okay? Like this. Give it a little shake. And uh, I don't know if you noticed that actually we now only have three coins in the top of it. So you watch, we put them back in like this. Give it a little shake. One drops through, and we're left with two. This time we take the last two, stick them back in like that. You can see one drop straight through and we're left with one here. This is where the magic happens. Watch, take it like this. Completely vanishes and just like that, one coin drops through. We're left with an empty set of uh, caps. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. You have to some people may not know who So I'm Stephen Leithwaite, how are you doing? <laughs> Ken on Alan Rosen, hi, how are you doing? And what have you been up to? Um, wandering about, getting drunk, basically. It's been the <laughs> weekend for me. What have you bought? Uh, Flux, uh, Phil 52. It's good. It's awesome. And there's a three shell game over at Alex's Arm, which was freaking awesome, so I bought one of those. Um, but, uh, just in case the missus is watching, I haven't spent too much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hi, uh, I'm Mark Oberon. That was clean cash. And the four. Four fifty two stand. Is the idea. I mean, come, come, come over to four fifty two stand with Richie and Alan and watch this. What's the four? Tell, tell them to come over. Uh, what's me in a car, Pete? Get out of there. Yeah, Check that out, make sure it's just a blue jacket diamond, right? Yes, it is. Full fifty two. I'm yeah. going to change this one right before your eyes. Right. As opposed to changing it after your eyes. <laughs> You see that now the back is red to match. It's still the jack of diamonds, but the back is red. See, it works with any card. If I take the top card like this, rub it like this, it changes to red. Here's the thing, though. I'd like to slow it down for you and show you in slow motion. Good. Please do. Yeah. <laughs> we use this card here. Sure it's the good. five of clubs. Still blue. Still blue, but now I feel it start to change. Ah, what? Oh, what? And what you'll notice is as I move my fingers back and forth, it changes back and forth from red to blue, from red to blue. Now watch the blue end. <laughs> You see that it's still the five of clubs, but now the back is red. Brilliant. <laughs> we could stand here all day changing these cards one at a time, but I don't really have time for that. So we'll start with this and change every single card red and one. Excellent. Awesome. It's yesterday's news. It's yesterday's news. It's all about this. <laughs> I'm just going to prepare for uh, my, my next bit of cardboard. So we'll just. Uh, uh, and that should be enough. We're all ready to go now. Hello, I'm Roddy McGee. And this is Flux. David, do you believe in psychability? I do not. I knew you were going to say that. I'm going to have you select a card, right? So just touch any one you like. Oh, this one here. Yeah. Okay, remember this card. Now what you're going to do is you're going to try and find this. It's a bit weird. You're going to find this card again. Just using your psychic ability, right? So. Just go ahead and just touch any one you like. This one here? Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, we'll do it. There yeah, we go. ta -da! That was your card, right? Yeah. Yo, that was a, no, it wasn't. Uh, have you heard about automatic writing, right? Psychics do it, they go into a trance and they get a pen in their hand. And sometimes there's like something there, right? We'll try that out. So, 
a few holes that for me then. Yeah, bro, it's just, just go with the flow, man. And that's, and that was my thumb, but uh, just try to help you out here, man. That's, that's the last day when it's See, be honest, it doesn't always work. And then, frankly, it is open to interpretation, but I mean, that, that doesn't really allow anything to me. I don't that know if you're, too, what you're getting there, but if all else fails, right, you just use a little magic. You're just thinking of one card, right? Just what? Was this your card? Yeah. The card you were thinking of? Thank you very much. Boom! That is amazing. It's called Fox. You need it in your life. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Mark Mason? Here, you keep one eye on the box, one eye on the deck. You're gonna see a miracle. Watch. It's like real magic. Watch, 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 watch. And the deck goes completely back inside the box. That's rebox. That's pretty cool. Thanks. Thank you, Mark. All I do is say the magic words, twirl the ropes together, and the knot will jump off the white rope over to the red rope. Now that's a pretty good trick all by itself, but now it gets more interesting. Getting the knot to jump is the very beginning. Now if you squeeze it, this is you squeeze it and you slide it off the other side. Is that weird? And here's the best part. Watch the rope, watch the knot. It goes back on. I have some magic dust in my pocket, just a little sprinkle, and it turns it into a sliding knot again. If I snap my fingers, it melts the rope and the knot together, blending them as one, and then you hand it out for examination. You walk away. Is that good? Hi, I'm Trevor Duffy from Trevor Duffy Magic Products. I'm out from South Africa enjoying Blackpool here today. And I have my new product which is called Smoky Magic version 2. There's idea of the smoke and you can do it again you can repeat it if you want more quite nice if I just give my hand a little hover over there like that gives you a good idea of good puff of smoke and there you go I'm gonna ask you to think of a card any card in a pack and I'll name it for you okay I'll name the card literally okay you got it I think I've got it as well the name of your card is Phil short for Philip like Prince Philip. No, you look surprised. What did you really think of? Jack and James. Yeah, it's Phil. Let me show you. Let's put the Jack of Diamonds on the table. We'll go through. I guess we got a Jack of Diamonds somewhere here. Yeah? Probably down near the bottom. Jack of Hearts. There's a Jack of Diamonds. Okay, now every single card in this whole pack has got its own name. There's Buck Rogers. Jane, Sam, Alec. See, they've all got their own names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every card's got a different name. Dave, yeah, yeah. Jean, Jake, Jill, Mona. What comes after Mona? Lisa. Well done. There you go. Educated man. Rose, Bud, and they've all got their own names. Of course, when you were thinking of Jack of Diamonds, I was thinking of Phil. It's real and not a figment of your imagination. One, two, three, four. Stack them up again. The first time you pretended to give me a coin, somehow it happened. This time I'm going to actually take one and really give it to me. Then close up your hand and hold those tight. The question is still the same. Did you really give me a coin or did you just imagine you gave me a coin? I really gave you a coin. Because I have nothing. And all four coins are still in your hand. Well, my time at the dealer's hall is all but done. So that's me just uh, heading to go see if I can grab a seat somewhere. Okay, I've just, bought, just went down to Andrew. I don't know what this is. Is this a new product? Caterpillar thread. Free sample. What's ever seen that? A normal thread? No. <laughs> we don't know. Why do magicians always feel the need to sort of fan cars and sort of stand like this? <laughs> Fucking geeky bastards, ain't they? Another thing, another thing magicians often do is they often get like one playing card, usually an ace, and they just hold it up as if it's somehow impressive. <laughs> it's sort of shit. <laughs> it's fucking true, you know, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the 
uh, the short piece first, we're going to give you the medium sized piece and the long piece. And at least you should check it this time. Because I have a trust in Facebook. <laughs> there we go. So, what does the guy do? What, you, what does the guy do? The thing that no one ever checks is whether the ends are kind of sealed off. Because the temptation is to put magnets in the ends. We, we would never put magnets in the end of the rope, ever. It's just not going to happen. So, Brian, just to humour me, would you just check the ends of the rope so that the, you know that they're sealed off and they're. They that, that to me is too quick. The, the two second thing, it is it is fast. Is it? Did you, you get that, John? They were different sizes, and now they're all the same. But I'm going to simplify it for him because it's care in the community. Okay, we get the old people out and we look after them. Um, <clears throat> Sometimes I put the what was the long piece right in my pocket. All you've got left then is a, a medium piece and a short piece. You'll notice, true to my word, the ends don't stick. And because they've been sealed off, Brian, what would you expect to see if I'd built a magnet into the rope? There'd be a lump or something. Any any lump in there at all? You run your hand down there at all? It's got a good action with that. It's a good stroking action there. So, Brian, I'll do it again slightly slower. Did you, uh, have you ever seen the smallest pair of scissors in the world? You did have, uh, excuse my fingers, three pieces. That was the long piece. Put it back in the middle to give you a chance. Brian, you've got to figure out which you think is the long piece, but I'm going to help you. I'm going to put all the ends the same length at the top. If you look down how they fall, there's a slight discrepancy at the bottom. Which do you think was the long piece to start off with? It's kind of obvious, isn't it? Hold on to it. The reason he picked that is because it's about, I don't know, how long is it? Compared to yours. It's quite long, isn't it? But at least he didn't go for the medium. At least he didn't go for the short. Routine's finished. Cheesy smile. I am Brian Watson, and these are Bewitching Sticks. Get the camera down here. These are a uh, handcrafted in pewter. Um, there's your hot rod. And if we get some detail there, look. All these are hand carved in solid pewter. And these are not plastic, these are um, Swarovski crystals. And these will last a lifetime. So there's your hot rod. So they pick a number. So give us a number there, John. Uh, four. Four. One, two, three, four. That's the red one, look. And they all change to red. So that's the uh, hot rod, and you also get the jumping gems. Um, so there's one here with nothing on. You touch it there and you get one gem. Nothing on that side, so you touch it there and get another one. So now you've got two. And there's another one here. Um, and this one has nothing on. So if you touch it to this one, you get one on there. But there's not one on there, so... Now we have two on each. The idea is to chuck this one across like this. So you've got two on here and none on there. There's still one on each side here. So we'll do it once more. Now you've got nothing on here and all four on here. So they're the uh, bewitching sticks in fine English pewter. Spotted it after you two. Chicken, you try and get in on the, in the photo. What lectures did you go to today? I've not been to a single lecture. <laughs> Oh, what a waste Blackpool, of my... typical, your, your week off, is it? your weekend off. It's basically me getting drunk. Oh, I see you. I don't know, this is fucking boring. <laughs> you, you don't really like being put on the spot, do you? No, no. I don't like being filmed. <laughs> Especially when I've got nothing to do. No worries, no worries. Uh, what's been happening, Dave? What's been happening? Um, I ate a massive burger. Oh, you mean at the convention? Did you get the King Kong burger? I got the King Kong burger. Did you finish it all? I finished it all. Oh, yes, well done. I don't feel like I'm pregnant. And I bought some Kirin Pink. Like a burger. Kirin King. I don't even know how this thing works. <laughs> Kirin King. <laughs> okay. That's a bit pathetic. That is pretty shit. <laughs> I've never done that before in my life. <laughs> I, mean, so, yeah. I would never know. It's half time at the gala show, so I'm just basically I came to the pizza parlour just across the road from the little garden. I'm just basically going to have a, a little pizza and then head across. Nom nom nom. Well, as me just out the pizza pizza parlour, and I've just had a text from Brian Evans, so I'm tasked with the difficult decision of deciding whether to go to the winter gardens here 
uh, or to go to the pub. Uh, so at the Winter Gardens I've got the gala show or I've got the pub. Very difficult decision. I've got the pub. It was quite an easy decision, wasn't it? So we're off to Mac Kelly's, which is a great pub, really great pub. Generally has entertainment on uh, or sometimes karaoke, so we'll have a bit of fun there. Okay, uh, we're now heading towards Ruskin and uh, the end is near. But uh, I'm gonna just chill out at the Ruskin, have a, a few beers, and then that'll be the end of the Black Bill Magic Convention for another this is year. This trick with four aces. I've got two red, yep. two black. They're all red, they're on the back. Get Can it. you hold your hand up nice and flat for me, please? I'm going to ask you three questions. Right. Each time I ask you one question, the next one gets a bit harder. But that's the word to start simple. What colour is this suit? Black this suit. Hold your hand nice and still for me. I'm going to put the black one on your hand, keep it dead still. The second question is even easier. What suit is this card? Spade. Spade. I'm going to put the spade on the top and I'm going to put it like this so you can clearly see which is which. And without peeking or cheating, which card would you say is on top? The spade or the club? Spade. Would you be impressed if I was to get those the other way around without touching? Mm-hmm. I'm going to come close, but I won't touch. Ready? Did I touch you? No. Did you feel anything? No. Which one did you say is on the top? Spade. The spade is on the top, and the club is on the bottom. Mm-hmm. And you can have a look and see what you've got. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you. It's a card trick and a mentalism trick, but we'll get to these in a second, right? What I want you to do is just think of any number. Remember that number, okay, and if you like, you can mouth it to him, so just basically I can't see you here, okay? You got it? Okay. Yep. Okay, so, here's what I want you to do, right? Without any hesitation, just reach in and touch the back of any card. Touch the back of one without any hesitation. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. Do you want, no, wait. Do you want that one, or you can have the one to the top or bottom, just so you don't think I'm forcing it on you. You happy with that one? Can you show everyone? Okay, you showing everyone is really irrelevant at the minute because look, this is going to be a marker card. Okay, in poker, marker cards are used to basically find or do other, you know, do other things. Now I take your card, place it in the middle of the deck about there. Okay, now, as you can see, this crap table, and it's the only card face down, face up, sorry, the face down there. Okay, now it doesn't matter that I've seen it; it's not that type of trick. Okay, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fairly go like this, and I want you to shout stop. When you do, I'm just going to do this quite slowly give you this card here, okay? Not this one, because I can see that one, okay? So whenever you're ready, just say stop. Yeah. Stop there, okay? Quite mm -hmm. fairly. Take that card, look at that one, show the camera, don't let me see, yeah? Got it. Place it onto there, yeah? And I'll, yeah, and I'll place the rest of those in there like that, okay? <coughs> okay. So there's 52 cards in the deck. I'm gonna half that, it's 26. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 26, okay? That's quite fair. So at the beginning, we turned over one card, and I said that it's an indicator or a marker card. Mm -hmm. What we're going to do is we're going to try and find your selected card with that marker card, all right? But I can't see it just yet. So all I'm going to do is just take off the top card off each pile until we come to the one that's face up. You should see it because it's face up, okay? Hopefully this isn't going to take too long, so I'm going to speed up a tiny bit. Or you can speed the camera up. <laughs> but yeah, you'll, you'll get this it. No. Four, okay. Squirt these up, nice tidy. So I said at the beginning that the marker card would find your card. Okay, hopefully if I've done this right, I'm now committed to one card. Okay, what was the second card that you looked at? King of Clubs. King of Clubs. Would you be amazed if this was the King of Clubs? You see, hopefully I've got I would it right. Be impressed. See, sometimes I get it wrong. Mm -hmm. Not today. You see, with my magic, I like to go that one step further. Okay, at the beginning I said, think of a number. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll get to that in a second, okay? But if you look at this card here, 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 and here, if you ever play poker against me, 
You'll never win. Not recently. Okay. Uh, no only did I find the four races, or you found the four races. Do you remember that number that you mouthed to him? Mm -hmm. I don't know it, do I? Because you didn't tell me. But hopefully, if I've done this right, you'll find that it was somewhere along this line here, like this. Okay. And I'm not finished, okay? Because, like I said, I like to go that one step further. If you look at this card here, this is a red card. I know it's red on the back, but it's red here. It's on this pile here. All these cards are red. If you look at this card here, this is black. All those ones are black. That's red. All those ones are red. This one is black. All those are black. It's excellent. Well done, thank you very much. I'm Neon the Magician and this is a straw trick. As you can see, it's red this side, red this side, and red this side. But if I shake, it becomes yellow on this side and this side. But if I rub it against my trouser leg, it becomes red. If I blow, it becomes yellow again. But what I'm gonna show you is if I can do this and take both one side and make it red so I got a yellow and a red piece. I'm now gonna actually bend the straw, watch this. The straw bends but you're thinking I'm cheating there so I'm actually literally gonna bend the straw with my mind. I can literally bend this straw like this. And this is magic but really what am I playing? I'm playing with your deception because it was in my pocket. But actually I'll tell you how I'm doing this trick. I cheat and I have two straws. One that's yellow and one that's red on both sides. And I trick you because it's just an illusion. So I've now got the red one here, the yellow one here. But if I shake, I now get the red one here and the yellow one here. I'll be fair and I'll put the yellow one in my pocket just like this, allowing the red one to be here. When I do this, it turns yellow, meaning the one in my pocket is the one that's red. Right? I place the ring on my finger like this. When I pull, it comes straight off. But I'll slow this down and I'll do it on my little finger. Watch. One, two, three. Is it true that you've been fiddling with another man's ring? No, I've been fiddling with my own. I have enough of them. I'm going to show you a trick with a 1p coin. As you know, we're in Blackpool and they sell sticker rocks. So do any of you here have a sticker rock on you? Ah, you have Oh, well, I'll pinch this off. my grandson. Yeah, I'll give it back to you. But as you can see, we got the 1p and we got the stick of what? Watch this. One. Two, three. Did you see it go? Because now it's inside the wrapper. Actually, and oh. oh my God, that's crazy. My math teacher has been around the world and he was telling us how they count. And so in England, we go one, two, three. And in France, they go un, deux, trois. And then he went to America one day and they actually went to, to him. Well, there's one there, there's one there, there's one there. And he's like, that's not how you count, it's one, two, three. So he was there, he said, for two months teaching them how to count. And let alone NASA had actually been on the TV. So they come back in and they go, we got it, we know how to count. And he said, go on. And then they went, three, two, one. He's like, what the hell are you doing? It's one, two, three. They go, no, 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 NASA counts three, two, one. He said, well, what do you do if there's a zero? They go, well, it's three, two, one, blast off. You got a number? I have lost the will. If I hear another Nathaniel joke, or see another Neon the Magician trick, I, I, I may end it all. What colour would you say that is, John? Uh, it's a red card. That's good, right, okay. And John, what colour is that card? Uh, it's red. Right, and that one? Black. I can see there's no fooling you, John. What colours are the backs of the cards? Uh, I've not noticed. Tell you, blue, yeah? Well, you're not watching it. Alright, blue. Take one, anyway. Well, if I, yeah, take it on your light. Doesn't matter which one. I think I can get it. Is it the uh, Nora Dormers without looking? It was, it was indeed, yeah. Yes, yeah, the only one with a red coloured back, I believe, yeah? yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. Name a card, any one you want. Doesn't matter which one. The King of Clubs. Ten of Diamonds. The King of Clubs here, yeah, okay. Do you know why you picked the, the King of Clubs? Any ideas? It was random. It's because all these are red, I believe, yeah? There are no blue cards at all, except for one, which I have here. Uh, and what was the name of your card? King of, King of Clubs. King of Clubs, the only one with a blue colour back. It's a pretty good game. If you like to blow on it. Where are you going? Yeah, all red, right, back to there. Thank you very much, I'm off. I'm still on the Ruskin downstairs. The time is probably around about, I don't know, one o'clock. One, one o'clock, so it's still early. Still early. And we're, we're um, 
We're educating Jeff McBride on the finer things in life uh, of uh, Scotland. Well, I've learned that you have to go north to the magical places. You have to go to places like Sky or Stone Away. Yeah, Stone Away, and uh, you have to take very dangerous airplanes to get there. But uh, hey, I flew here to Blackpool, and I took my life in my hands just entering the Ruskin. And Phyllis, that is quite true. And, uh, that is quite true. Into Mr. Mark Warrington. Hello. And Mr. Titanus. Titanus. <laughs> Hello. Titanus has got tits, but by tits, he means showgirls. It's 1.29. Still early. Still so early. it's Monday now. The convention finished yesterday, and we're still here. And um, yeah, it's good. What, what, what was your favourite bit so far? Have you bought any, any shit? Uh, uh, do you know what? My biggest purchase here was a big, big pack of Bonsalos. Oh, yeah, that, of course. I got radioactive as well. Radioactive. I know it sounds like a sales pitch. It's not. Radioactive is amazing, honestly. So one man was a Chilby better than Humphrey Bogart. In fact, there's only two men with a Chilby better than Humphrey Bogart. Was you like uh, and Cliffs of Batham? Was you like to buy a lucky razor? Aye. <laughs> I'm needing a shave. That's the new one. The last one was orange. <laughs> Six of diamonds. Would you wear it Show us to the camera. This man is the legend. Cut TV out light. the bad things. Give them a cut and make people happy. Yeah. Hey, there's a trick, Robinson. Doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's your thoughts on the convention, Mr. Rorison? <laughs> that was a very good joy quiz of that. Uh, slightly disappointing, I will say. Based on what? Do you not like duck magic? <laughs> I can't believe I wrecked you, baby, it's great. Eh? I can't believe I wrecked you. I'm not wrecked. You're not wrecked. Yeah. Flying cards everywhere, I'm very scared. Everybody else wants to go to sleep. Yeah, a little bit of one. Okay. Man, they're not going to make it. Just a little bit. I care about these things. Yeah. Sound, baby? Yes. We love you. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cameron, or Cammy Center from Edinburgh, and a uh, big fan of the Converse Convention. Uh, I'm going to do a wee, uh, wee sandwich trick. So, uh, these are my two friends, the, uh, the two Jacks, and. Um, yeah, so we'll uh, we'll stick the jacks down, and uh, yeah, I'll do this with you, Dave. Yeah, yeah, so uh, good. Doesn't matter. Just, it's, just it's not your card. It's not your card. Uh, just touch, touch the back of the card. Ah, uh, feel free to swim here. Down there. You happy with that? It's not I'm false. Happy with it. Yeah. Have a look at it. Got it. Yeah, for that. Well, I'll leave you stick there a bit, so you know exactly where it is. Right, stay. And uh, take your uh, take your left hand for me, and just place your hand on the jacks. And, uh, what was your card? The Ace of Clubs. Ace of Clubs. Can you take your hand off the next one? What's that? That's just my card. Is it America? Oh, America. 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 The bar stopped serving. <laughs> We're going to be kicked out soon. It's half four. And uh, I've enjoyed myself. This is kind of bringing to a close uh, not just the film, but the end of our weekend. I'm, I'm really quite saddened about this. And that brings us to the end of the Conjurers Convention for another year. Thanks for watching. Bye for now, guys.
Into Mr. Michael Murray and Mark Elsden has just walked on. He's away at the bar. Um, and this is this is bringing us to a close of the, the convention. We may not even get served. We're going to attempt to get a, a drink there. If we don't, Michael Murray has a final thought. This guy has the most beautiful hair. Magic. Please do not eat my hair. <laughs> so what have you been up to, Mr. Meyer? Mainly drinking. Excellent. Mainly drinking. I find that hard to believe. Well, I thought I thought I would make this a change. I, I thought I'd make it change. I'm, I'm here. I'm here with the mentalism legend. It's Michael Murray, and uh, we're now saying cheerio for the, the rest of this movie. This is it. You know, this at the end of the movie. Say goodbye, everyone. Until next year, we shall see you there. Bye for now, guys.